हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर विल टॉक अबाउट मिड पॉइंट सर्कल ड्राइंग एल्गोरिथम मिड पॉइंट सर्कल ड्राइंग एल्गोरिथम इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन कंप्यूटर ग्राफिक्स एंड मल्टीमीडिया इन दिस टॉपिक वी विल ट्राई टू डिस्कट अबाउट सर्टेन कंटेंट्स फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सिंपल सर्कल ड्राइंग एल्गोरिथम नेक्स्ट वी विल मूव फर्दर टू द मिड पॉइंट सर्कल ड्राइंग एल्गोरिथम इट्स डेरिवेशन इट्स एल्गोरिथम एंड इट्स एग्जाम्पल्स सो लेट स्टार्ट अवर लेक्चर First of all, we all know that circle are the set of points that are all given at a distance r from the center position x c comma y c. The equation of the circle is x square plus y square equals to r square, where we can simply write y is equals to plus minus under root r square minus x square. So, in simple circle drawing algorithm, what we are doing is that we are just calculating the value of y from the value of x and r. So here we are calculating value of y zero by putting x equals to zero and r equals to twenty as taken as example. Calculating the further values of y till the last, we are concluding that at the beginning the value of y are constant. That is, the points are very close to each other. This makes the circle very accurate and exact. But as we move further towards the least point of x, the value of y suddenly decreases. That the slope becomes very vertical. This makes the circle inexact and inaccurate. So this makes circle simple circle algorithm very inefficient. So here in this slide we will discuss about why it is not efficient. The first reason is that the resulting circle has a very large gap where the slope approaches the vertical. And secondly, the calculations are not very efficient. That is very difficult. We have to calculate the square root more and more times. so we need a more efficient and more accurate solution so first thing we notice to make our circle drawing algorithm more efficient is that circle center at 0,0 have eight base symmetry that is if we know a point on the circumference then we can calculate other seven octant from eight base symmetry i discussed in the figure now midpoint circle algorithm midpoint circle algorithm basically work on a eight base symmetry and was developed by jack bresnams so what would we do in midpoint circle algorithm assume that we have just plotted a point sk comma yk so the next point is the choice between sk plus 1 comma yk and sk plus 1 comma yk minus 1 so which point will we choose we will choose the point that is nearest to the actual circle so how would we make this choice now we will calculate the midpoint between the two points that is somewhere in the between now we will we'll see that this circle is more closer to the above point so we will choose the above point similarly doing this with the further solutions we will get the points now derivation of midpoint circle drawing algorithm assume that circle is passing through origin and its radius is r then equation of the circle will be x square plus y square is equals to r square by putting the coordinates of the midpoints in the equation x square plus y square is equals to r square if the equation gets less than 0 the midpoint is inside the circle if the equation equals to 0 the midpoint is on the circle and if the equation gets greater than 0 midpoint is outside the circle now decision parameter pk decision parameter plays an important role in finding the next solution that is next point of the circle initial parameter p0 we will get the initial parameter p0 from pk by putting x equals to 0 and y equals to 0 so we will get p0 equals to 5 by 4 minus r if we put k plus 1 initial of p k we will get the equation 1 for the decision parameter now as i said earlier that decision parameter plays an important role in calculating the further solutions of the circle so how did he do so if decision parameter is negative the next point will be increment in the position of the x coordinate and same as the y coordinate this means that sk plus 1 that is the next coordinate of the x will be equals to xk plus 1 that is the increment and yk plus 1 that is the next value of y coordinate will be equals to yk that is the same putting these values in equation 1 we will get pk plus 1 equals to pk plus 2 of sk plus 1 plus 1 now if the pk is positive 
that is the decision parameter is positive. The value of s coordinate will be incremented, but the value of y coordinate does not remain constant as the previous case. The value of y coordinate will be decremented. That is, for s coordinate, sk plus 1 equals to sk plus 1 and yk plus 1 equals to yk minus 1. Putting these values in equation 1, we will get the decision parameter to be pk plus 1 equals to pk plus 2 of sk plus 1 minus 2 of yk plus 1 plus 1. Now, what we have concluded from midpoint cycle algorithm? First of all, we have seen that we have initially started from the coordinate 0, r. Then we have calculated the initial decision parameter from p0 equals to 5 by 4 minus r. Further, we have determined the value of decision parameter. If decision parameter is less than 0, the next point along the circle centered on 0, 0 is sk plus 1, yk. If decision parameter is greater than 0, the next point along the circle is sk plus 1, yk minus now let us take an example to be more clear about midpoint cycle algorithm. Here we have a circle centered at 0, 0 with radius 10. We have to calculate the other points of the circle from x equals to 0 to x equals to y. Initially, we will calculate the decision parameter p0 equals to 1 minus r that gets calculated to be minus 9. Now, in a given table we have calculated the points of the circle coordinates initially starting k equals to 0 that is the initial decision parameter we are discussed that the, if the initial decision parameter is less than 0 the s coordinate is incremented and the y coordinates remain same so in this case the decision parameter is less than 0 so initially the point is 1 comma 10 so the s coordinate is incremented to 2 and the y coordinates remains same now for the k plus 1 initial decision parameter equals to minus 6 that is again less than 0 so we will again incremented the value of x and the value of y remains constant this procedure will last till x equals to y now we have got all the points of the x and y coordinates we have drawn the circle thank you